So besides images and backgrounds, we have another option here for each individual slide. This option is going to be an animation background. Uh, so all you have to do is you can select from two different animations that are available. So certain slides might support additional options for animations, again, depending on the slide. So some will have different options here. Uh, depending again on the slide that you've chosen. So we've got a fairly basic and straightforward one and this one comes with two different uh, animation options and when you go to zero that means that the animation is off and here we can see when we go to one we get this kind of spiraling kind of really neat effect to it. We can go to two which gives us a little bit more spiraling and again uh, three so we got a bunch of clouds here and we can move these up and down as needed as well. Uh, same with left and right. So the same way that the images were working, uh, we have some ability to manipulate these background animations. So here we've got some bubbles, here we've got some white bubbles, and again, some lines with an arrow pointing down. So this is really good for YouTube or any other videos where you've got a description here below and you wanna get that attention uh, from the viewer down to the bottom left hand side. So this is really a common place so for subscribe buttons as well as other additional options. So you can see here that um, we've got a whole bunch of options for animations. I think that we've just turned that one on. Uh, so again, a whole bunch of different options for arrows pointing up and down and uh, that spiraling effect. And literally there's a whole bunch of really neat animations that you can add in. So this is adding in this kind of wavy line. And again, really easy to, to begin to customize out your videos uh, to really make them unique and stand out. Yeah, so I'm gonna just leave number eight. So it's got these kind of lines going back and forth. And then again, what we had looked at before, where we've got these animations where we can add these arrows going down, we can add a white one, a different color, and really just to bring attention to the content below. So again, it's always pointing down. And for this slide, or for this one, you had nine different options. So I'm just gonna turn that off because it's not gonna be necessary for the video that we're making uh, for within this course. So again, those are your four basic options that you can work with, uh, and this goes for any slide. So depending on the slide that you pick, uh, you might have some different options here as well. And then lastly, the fifth option here is if your video clip does support an MP4 or a flash file or a FLV format file, uh, then you're going to have that option here within the video. And it's going to work the same way as the shapes, images, and animations where you've got this uh, clickable menu. As well as for this slide, we're able to record or we're add, able to add an MP3 file. Uh, so this is also really useful and helpful if you want to do slide-by-slide -slide recordings and information. So if you want to just record welcome, uh, a welcome message, you could do that here by doing a record. And as you can see, the little window pops up for voice recorder and you see it's picking up my mic here and then all I'd have to do is just do a recording and that would record the current audio right into this particular slide to play within the slide. So a lot of really good quick options that a lot of times you might just have to change uh, the text and the images and that's good enough to customize sometimes the backgrounds and again depending on what message you're trying to get across and how much information you've got in the slide uh, and uh, most of these default slides that you pick out uh, they should be sufficient enough to produce that message for within the slide so we can see here there are some that are quite a bit more complex here so here it's got a shape controls right hand uh, so it's a bunch of different shape controls here uh, as well. You've got the different characters here. And then again, really, really neat things that you can do. And uh, it gives you a basic description of what's going to be available within that slide before you add it. And a whole bunch of really great options. And as you can see, these are really cool uh, slides and they really do get the message across. 
Uh, so again, very easy to add in additional slides. So in the later lessons, we're just going to be showing you some of these really cool slides to add in and just going to add that in and just show you that this one's got an image area, it's got a background area, uh, it's got three different shape areas, it's got the same two default animations, uh, and then again this one doesn't have video, uh, but it does still have that one text area. So we're going to be going through some additional slides in the upcoming lessons as well.